Time to focus on an important health topic. One of the most common cancers in men is also one of the most curable, but early detection can make all the difference when it comes to surviving prostate cancer. Dr. Christopher Breedy is part of the Spectrum Health Cancer Center team, and he's here to share some improved detection and treatment options that are now available. Welcome so Morning. much. We hear about prostate cancer. Tell us about this. Just give us a kind of a brief overview of what this is in men. Prostate cancer is one of the most common forms of cancer in men, most common solid organ uh, cancer in men. It usually affects men uh, between the age of 50 and 75. Um, and it is uh, now being diagnosed more than ever uh, after the invention of a test called the PSA test, which many men are um, informed of because their primary care doctors check it regularly as a part of their normal health screening. And the PSA helps to alert doctors that maybe there's an, a, a level in the blood that needs to be monitored? Right. The PSA is not specific for prostate cancer, uh, but it can alert uh, the physician that is there something going on. It, it detects prostate activity, which can be in the form of a cancer, and that's why uh, oftentimes their uh, patients are referred to a urologist to say is this PSA from cancer or is it from something else and we can help sort that out. And for men as a part of a yearly exam this would be something uh, also there's a physical exam that goes along with it Correct. just like women get their mammograms their pap smears all the regular exactly. blood work. For men this is why you get a reg an, an annual exam. Right this is part of your annual exam uh, the blood work can be done on a, on a regular basis but the exam is very important as part of general health screening also and and really asking them questions about uh, their overall urinary function can be helpful in that as well. And in the early stages, it's asymptomatic, but there are eventually some symptoms that men will have once it gets to a more advanced stage. Correct, there can be, and uh, the PSA and regular exams can really take away from uh, that late stage detection of prostate cancer. So most prostate cancers are detected in an asymptomatic way, but you know, men can experience some bone pain, uh, urinary difficulties, erectile dysfunction as some of the, some of the uh, symptoms of a late stage cancer. And so you have an advanced test that you do at Spectrum Health, it, your cancer program, but um, how do you decide which men maybe need to have that? Well, um, men going through the PSA screenings are often uh, have yearly PSAs or semi-yearly PSAs, and when uh, PSA level detections are, uh, are seen, then they undergo a biopsy of the prostate as the next step in, in their detection. Uh, for those who have had biopsies before, there's a new technology out uh, that uses MRI as well as standard biopsies to uh, either further detect the prostate cancer or to ensure that there's uh, nothing that is being missed by the standard biopsies. And, and we have a, a video animation of what this new advanced treatment tool or te diagnostic tool is right. that you use right. to walk us through exactly what yeah, this is and how course. it works. This is called uh, the Euronav is the, the technology and basically what it is is we use MRI data which is more sensitive and specific than uh, ultrasound data that we can use in real time. That MRI data can then be fused with um, real-time ultrasound. Uh, the ultrasound probe has an electromagnetic coupler on it that uh, after generating an electromagnetic field around the patient, we're able to real-time see images from the uh, MRI that the patient has already had to see where high-grade uh, cancer concerning lesions may be. And then with the ultrasound, we're able to b take a biopsy of those higher grade lesions for better detection of uh, more serious cancers. So you get a much more specific idea of exactly which area you're getting that biopsy, that, that tissue sample from. Correct. And, and we can be more specific about the area. We can be more specific about the lesion that we're biopsying rather than just doing uh, a standard systematic biopsy, which is the gold standard right now. And so does this mean that more men will end up with um, biopsies? Not necessarily. The, the goal of this technology is to be more intelligent about who we're biopsying. And the goal actually is to help decrease the amount of biopsies that a man may have to go through over his lifetime if there's a concern with prostate cancer or if he has already been diagnosed with prostate cancer. And what age should all of these tests start? Of course, you, you start with the, with the PSA screening. That's the standard. Yeah, the screening starts between the ages of 40 and 50, depending on 
uh, oftentimes race, ethnicity, and uh, of course a family history of a first degree relative with prostate cancer. And, okay, we've scratched the surface here. If people are interested in getting more information from you and your office, how would they reach you? Uh, they can contact us through uh, our office through the, uh, the Lemon Holden Cancer Pavilion, which is the contact on the screen. Um, and if they'd like a second opinion, about a cancer that they've already been diagnosed with, we can offer that as well. You're the only cancer center in the Grand Rapids area with this specific tool That's to use. Correct. So people are maybe outside of the area, want a second opinion, they can also reach out to you for that information. Right, as they well. can reach out to us if and we can be of assistance using that technology and they can be treated locally in their hometown still. Fantastic. Dr. Breedy, thanks. Great information. Thank you for having me. And stay right there, more of Eight West when we come back. is 8 West.